It's hard to imagine that anything can grow in soil like this. But over the years, with water conservation, deserts have been turned into green paradises and rich agricultural valleys. And places where you wouldn't think a business could ever survive are now popular, thriving resorts. Water is so common and ordinary, we are seldom aware of its vital role in the life process. Here, where water is scarce, it's costly. But yet the ingredient by which some of the greatest cities in the world have developed. Millions of gallons of water are being used every hour of every day to support these communities, and water conservation has become a key issue. The city of Phoenix, Arizona, depends on the water from Lake Mead, Los Angeles, San Diego, a lot of cities in Southern California, uh, Las Vegas, Southern Nevada, depends on the water for their municipal water uses and industrial uses, as well as the irrigation. Out in this desert, water is one of the most difficult things to come by especially the last five years. Uh, the water district has really come down hard on us to make sure that we don't waste water. And now they're relying on the golf course superintendents to be the leaders in the community to show homeowners and other people how to use water judiciously. In this area, it's very important they conserve water. It's uh, detrimental that they, they use the minimum amount of water needed for, for doing uh, the various things that they do do as far as even water in their grass. There should be particular times they set up the water, mostly in the evening where the water doesn't evaporate as quickly off their lawn. So it keeps the ground wet. They can keep their grass alive that way. That's one way of conserving water. Just, just being careful of even how many times you'd, you'd break down to even flush your toilet a day. Without Lake Mead, it wouldn't be here. Agriculture, by means of irrigation, uses 87% of the total water volume in these dry areas, and its future success largely depends upon increasing the efficiency levels of available water supply. The Superior Manufacturing Company has developed a method in the field of irrigation to achieve a better understanding of water and soil interaction, which contributes to better utilization of water. For many years, these irrigated communities have used chemicals to reduce surface tension so water can penetrate the hard surface of the soil and make it more suitable for crop production. Now, for the first time, Superior Manufacturing Company, known for a water conditioner that can effectively control lime scale and corrosion without the use of chemicals, has found that the same process, with little alteration, can reduce landscape water use through some extensive researching that we have done at uh, different universities and also some field applications, we have uh, learned that we're also um, uh, not only able to control lime scale, which is also important in irrigation applications, but also some other benefits is that we're able to reduce water consumption. What we are doing to the water basically is, is making the water more soluble. By making the water more soluble, we're getting it to penetrate the ground quicker, therefore requiring less water to do the same job as what it would have been without our unit. And uh, typically in an uh, irrigation situation, we can uh, reduce water consumption on the average of about 30%, uh, which in uh, large user applications such as golf courses and so forth, uh, adds up to a tremendous amount of money. Since September of 1992, the Los Prados Golf Course in Las Vegas, Nevada, has reduced water consumption by 30% by installing a superior water conditioner resulting in savings of fifteen to twenty thousand dollars per month. Up to uh, July 1st I took an audit, water audit, and I figured it out and come out with about a thirty percent savings in the usage of water in comparison to last year. Off the top of my head I think last year up to June, July 1st, I think I was somewhere above 92 million gallons and uh, as of July 1st of this year I'm about 62 million. Since 1964, Superior Manufacturing Company has been serving the United States and 37 foreign countries to improve water quality. They have been issued 33 patents, and there are 42 more pending. The conditioners which they make serve over 400 different types of applications, and the results have been proven around the world. It is a water conditioner that saves time, money, energy, and is safe to the environment. Operation of the Superior Water Conditioner is simple. The basic principle behind 
the function of the product itself is it's a, it's a magnetic unit and all we're doing is water enters in one end and goes out the other end and as it passes through the four alternating fields it, it changes the molecular structure of the molecule in the water and molecules have a positive and negative charge all we're doing is making them like likes so they repel one another by making them repel one another not a, they're not able to form together and cause the scale and as a result we are also able to reduce surface tension in the water and in the irrigation application that's what we're trying to achieve is to reduce the surface tension in hard soils like those found in the desert finding a way to make water more soluble is the key Superior water conditioners can help reduce the surface tension of water so that the water is more soluble and able to penetrate the soil deeper and faster. Another ability of the conditioned water is to dissolve minerals in soil and water as it penetrates the soil. In agricultural applications, the conditioned water will accelerate the transportation of nutrients in the soil and transfer minerals to the root system faster than unconditioned water. This can help plants grow bigger and stronger because they have deeper roots and better nutrient transport. It's a win-win situation. You save water, you break down the calcium. Uh, if you look all along our walls, they used to be white with alkali buildup. We don't have that. Our heads don't get stuck. Our impact heads with the white calcium buildup around. The solenoids don't build up with this calcium and stick in the valve all night. The uh, valves itself don't corrode, they stay real nice. I'll run a system for an hour and a half on a drip line and fill the basin. In 30 minutes, there's, you can't see any water around the base of that tree. It's, it's in the ground to the roots where it needs to be, and there's no alkali trail. In addition to saving water, users of superior water conditioners have found that they use less fertilizers because the conditioned water is carrying natural ingredients from the soil to the root system of plants the reduction of chemicals and fertilizers goes a long way in controlling runoff into our streams lakes and rivers and contributes to being environmentally sound there are many other benefits derived by using the superior conditioned water for irrigation Water reaches the roots faster, thus preventing them from seeking the surface for more moisture. Water is used in smaller quantities to maintain the same results because it is absorbed quicker by the soil and roots. There is less evaporation of conditioned water because it penetrates the soil faster and is not exposed to the sun and air as long as unconditioned water. Roots will grow deeper because water is provided at deeper levels. Conditioning the water reduces its surface tension, which breaks down its ability to repel foreign substances, thus allowing it to penetrate the soil better. Hoses and sprinkler heads are kept free from scale, which will reduce maintenance costs. Conditioned water reduces the buildup of residue thus providing faster and easier cleanup if nozzle or equipment service is required. Years of field testing by the superior manufacturing company in Israel, Saudi Arabia, Wisconsin, Florida, Arizona, Nevada, and California have proven that the water treatment process reduces water use and fertilizer applications by as much as 30 to 50% and without chemicals to harm the environment. Our return on this investment was, uh, I would say, probably about five months, because it really did go into action, because I had to oversee it at the time I put this in, and that gave us a quicker germination, about three days germination on our ryegrass. We were able to turn the golfers loose in seven days on our greens, and therefore, our return was greater counting that, the labor involved, and waiting, sitting there with closed greens and golf course not being able to operate because you were closed for 14 days. A recent study conducted at the Cal Poly State University confirms the beneficial effects of superiorized irrigation water. The experiment consisted of two parts, the reduction of sodium adsorption ratio, SAR, and percolation. In this study, it was found that the conditioned water was able to reduce the SAR 19% faster than the unconditioned water, 
and the time taken for the conditioned water to penetrate through a soil was 22% less than the time for the unconditioned water. This means that 19% of water and 22% of time were saved by using the superior water conditioner. Based on the findings in this study, it was concluded that the conditioned water penetrated through all three types of soils, sandy loam, loam, and clay loam, faster than the unconditioned water. Any way that you can reduce the surface tension of water, you're going to increase the efficiency of that water use. And as a result of that, uh, of course, that uh, you can get by with less water to accomplish the same thing uh, because the water will penetrate or percolate through the soil better. And uh, as a result of that too is uh, the plant is a beneficiary because the plant is, uh, has the ability then to use those nutrients that are, that are being suspended by that water and is readily absorbed by the plant. The superior water conditioning process is a breakthrough that can save water, energy, and time. The initial investment pays for itself quickly with reduced maintenance, breakdowns, less fertilization, and elimination of chemicals. Uh, about a year and a half ago, I went to the board that I was in dire need of a, a rough unit and a triplex, and I thought, well, maybe I can get the rough unit, and I need it worse. And he says, well, by the way, Giordano, how much money have you saved with this water system? You know, kind of smart alecky, and I says, well, I got the figures here. So far, uh, up to uh, March or April, I think it was, somewhere in April, I says, I think we saved $42,000. He says, uh, can you prove it? I says, sure. I went and got the figures for them, showed them the figures. They looked at it and they says, well, how bad do you need this machine? I says, well, real bad. I says, are you going to really be in dire straits if you don't? So they looked at it and they says, how much is the machine going to cost? I said, about 40000 Well, they says, okay, go ahead and get it. And I says, uh, came back a couple days later and says, uh, here's the cost. I can get it for 27000 and I says, and I can use another piece of equipment that's worth about 15000 He says, well, go ahead and get it. So there are no more questions asked. It was because of the system I was able to get two new pieces of equipment. They helped me out in the long run all the way around. So to ask me to trade this off? No, I would not. I wouldn't put that other pipe back in here for no amount of money.